Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Infinite Resources 2020. So in the last episode, we did stuff and also things. In this episode, we're going to do different stuff and more things. Let's get started. Let's go make some cast then. Let's get, a, let's get uh, four pieces of gold then. We'll make four blank casts. We'll have to see which one is the gold guy because we have to make this and the one that's not the gold guy. I think he's the gold guy. Yep, there's the gold. Okay. So let's put the gold in there. There we go. I need two casts. I was where I thought I grabbed the other one before I went off, but I guess I didn't. Okay, these guys with obsidian. Alright, there's one, there's two. So yeah, basically, I want this to be a very strong sword with good beheading that uh, also lasts for a long time. Because basically, we're going to need it to. We have beheading three, though. Can we get beheading three on this? How do you get beheading? Before I do that, and I just saw it was right there, yeah. But, uh... Ender Pearl and Obsidian. You know what? I think that might be a good one too. Get it at least as good as the other one was. So Ender Pearl and Obsidian. Let's see if we can make beheading three on this guy before we do anything else. Yes, we can. Okay. So then we'll do reinforced. Alright, there we go. A very, very strong sword. Or, you know, at least, as strong as that one was, that will last at least four times as long. Maybe longer, depends on, you know, how well that, um... I wonder if I could have stacked the emeralds. Ah, whatever. Okay, so, hello, Spidey. Alright, uh, I turned him off for a second, so let's uh, turn you back on. Okay, you have to go, because you make annoying noises. Alright. Make sure that sword works. Yep, the sword works. Okay. There we go. I also told it to, uh, we want... I told it that I wanted 256 heads, so we're going to make sure that happens too. Alright, still have not upgraded him yet. Let me get a capacitor and see what that would do for us. So if I had a double layer, how much power would that take from this guy? I want him to spawn one more set, then we'll turn him off. Okay. So you are taking 3200 RF per tick right now. You would take 16,000 for a double layer. I mean, we have it, but wow, that's a lot of, that's a lot. That's so much. All right, so basically, yeah, realistically, if we put it here, but don't give you any more um, power out, we could limit how much RF you take. So you want 16,000 RF per tick, but... You're only getting about five, because that's what we can get from that from that power cell. I could better stomach five or ten thousand RF per tick rather than you know sixteen thousand. Actually, you know we have <laughs> we have three hundred and sixty million RF right now. I think. Actually, these these do more. This is one hundred twenty-eight million, so that's four hundred twenty-eight million RF we have. You know what? Let's go make us a better power cell. May have to change the wiring in there too, but shouldn't be a problem. So we have power cells. We've got one of these guys. Let's teach you to make the better kind. So not you, not creative, the advanced ones. Those require, oh, those require infused diamonds. Can I get four of you? I'm not really sure I can. I don't know how much how much dimensional shard ore I have. 
uh, enough to make this one. I can't make it. I can't make a lot of them, but I can make this one, I think. So we'll we'll try this and see what happens. So okay. Um, Put you on the list over here so I don't lose you again. And redstone and a power cell. Okay, that all looks fine. So let's take you. Now let's take my link card out. And where is my this guy? Okay, so let's dump you in here. Didn't put the pattern in here, so that doesn't help yet. All right, let's do this guy. Oh, come on, hurry up. Okay, it says to craft one. Hmm, we already have one. I mean, not a big deal, but it'd be nice if it just, you know, used the one we already had. So let's get the recipe for this guy. Okay, let's make four infused diamonds. Yep, we can do that. Try that again. And then the power cell. There we go. An advanced power cell. So, how do you work? Yeah, you can do 20,000 RF protect. So, you can basically destroy our power if you want. That's okay. We'll get more power. That's kind of what the automated weather thing was, was for, to get more power. All right, how are you doing? You you go over there where you belong. Go where you belong. You're supposed to be over there. Okay. So what kind of power cost do you have right now? Probably the old style. No, I, I guess you don't have the old style. I guess I must have fixed you afterwards or something. Okay, so let's put you in here. All right, so, okay, yeah, you can only get 20,000 RF per tick because that's what's coming into that thing. Hmm. Well, you know, it should be fine. He should be fine. So, let's see what happens now. Okay. I was hoping you'd be, like, faster, too, not slower. Are you going to spawn more skeletons or something? Like, what's the point of having a better capacitor? You spawned one skeleton. It looks like a huge waste of energy to spawn one skeleton. I want you to do, like, you know, ten. We may still need to transfer this guy over to a... You know, I, I, I don't want to use Industrial Foregoing for everything, but I mean, wow. I, I add a bunch of power to this guy, and, and what benefit did I get from it? I'm not really sure if I got any benefit at all. Let's see here. How are we doing on Skull? We got 43. That's hardly any at all. I wondered about making another Ender Ender, seeing if that would help out better. So, I don't know. What's your range? Are your range still the same? Yeah. Seriously, what did adding a better capacitor do for you? Because honestly, I'm not sure it did any, anything for you. How come you're not... what? You, okay, that's right. You are going out faster than you can come in. All right, maybe we need to limit how much power he's going to take, because I think that's that's uh, maybe doing a bit much. Can I limit you somehow over here? I can't, huh? Okay. Let's go get a capacitor. And we'll limit you that way. So what kind of capacitor do I want? I guess we'll just get a vibrant, right? Let's see, I've got this guy. What are you good for? We can make uh, one of you. 
So let's make one of these guys. Okay, and then let's make one of these guys. And how much energy can you output at a time? Up to 5,000, huh? I mean, we had that with the other one, so this is not an upgrade, so I don't see any point in doing it. Might as well go to Vibrant. So let's see here. Uh, we're going to need to build another one of you. So let's get this guy. All right, capacitor, I want one of you guys. Okay, we need a vibrant crystal and we need a capacitor, the other guy. I'm missing something else, aren't I? I'm missing, missing two octadic capacitors. All right, let's get two of you. Okay, there we go. So here's this guy. So we're going to take you up. We're going to put you in there. And we're going to say uh, your max output is 7,500 RF per tick. And then we'll get this guy and you will be outputting. Okay, so you're still gonna use up all the power until you have everything back, but uh, this guy should be okay, I think. He's still losing power though. Why are you losing power? Okay, I have shut down my wither producer right now by the way so I'm not worried about uh, these guys losing power so no issues there I am wondering why oh huh, of course all we have over here is that one guy who's like this he can only take 5,000 R per tick okay we need to upgrade him too uh, how much more dimensional shard do we have enough for four more Okay. All right, we can upgrade this guy too. So let's go do that as well. So where are we? Let's go take a nap real quick. And then we'll go back to getting that stuff. So uh, I want one of you. And doesn't really matter, does it? Okay, so we'll let put this guy back downstairs, and then we should be able to transfer more energy per tick. Okay, so now you are getting in energy from that conduit. So what's this guy doing? Average input is 10,000. Average output is 20,000. Yep, we're pretty much dumping everything we can to this guy right here. So in a minute, uh, we should be good, though. We're going to be filling up this capacitor over here, the vibrant guy. And once that happens, he should fill up then. So where are we at? Yeah, we're, we're up 12,000 right now. That's, that's, okay. So there, that will do better for this. Okay. Hopefully that'll work out okay and we'll be all right then. What if we could do 16,000 for this guy and, and like, you know, fill him? Like, what if I said 
you could do 16384. That should be enough to just barely get him into a surplus state. Yeah. Okay. So, you're going to take that up, which should be fine. Okay. So, yeah. That. We'll use 16,000 for that guy right now. He's going to fill up. Once he gets 25 million, he should be better. So, I'm hoping this spawns him faster. Um, right now, I'm not convinced that it does, but uh, I'm hoping it does. Ow. We're getting a few more now. Maybe now that we keep with the power, it is spawning even better. Maybe our problem was that 5,000 R for tick guy. Yeah, I think we're definitely getting way more spawns. Okay. Yeah, I would say this is faster. Cool. So, no idea how Killer Joe is doing. I literally can't check on him. He had the last skeletons just spawned when the sword broke. I just happened to come over here and check that because I was thinking, is that sword about to, about to break? Because, you know, I figured it probably was. And it was. So, there we are. How are we doing? Not quite a stack yet. We need three stacks to get a stack of nether, uh, nether stars. So I told it to keep four stacks in the system. All right, this guy is finally increasing. So he can do 19 million. So I we'll have to fill him up too. He's probably filling at about 16K. No, I should be filling out more than that actually. It's gonna go down a little bit overnight, but I think they're gonna come back. This should be going mostly out of... I mean, it'll come from there. But mostly it should come out of here. So... Yeah, I think we're doing pretty good. Yeah, we're we're dumping... The capacity of the... Or we're getting in the capacity of this guy. So... That's good. We're taking out all of that. Which is more than the capacity. Which, again, I don't quite understand. But... I don't know. So, I know you can do more than one side, so if I had a cable going down and going in the back, he should be able to do better for input. And we could do that. That's how you would handle, you know, more energy. Alright, so now that we're getting more Skeleton Skull, should be able to get more Nether Star Drops. Definitely want to look into that a little bit more. I want to wait for this to get a bit more stable power-wise. Oh, he's at 7 million RF already. Okay, never mind, he's fine. Let's turn this guy back on. I still want a stack of you. So there we go. Going to get several withers spawning now. Cool. So, yeah. There we go. Six withers. And withers die, and then, you know... He ran out of skulls again. That's okay, though. As long as our shield has power, it should be okay. And we've got a net gain on power, so I'm not worried about any of this right here. I'm not sure that even my good, good armor could take a fight with six withers, though. You know, simultaneously. Okay. Wow, that is crazy loud. Let's see here. <laughs> yeah. There it is. Out of skulls again. So. Alright. How is this doing? Well, I added a bunch more stuff. So. Wow. There is a mod called Bad Weather No Cookie. Which I think uh, destroys that sound. And now I understand why it exists. Because this. Yeah. I, I don't know if I can take that. I gotta find something to dull that sound. Cause it just it it goes. Look at that. All the way over here. That's way too bad. That's that's way too far. So okay. We'll get rid of that. Uh let's get you in there and you in there. 
Alright, that's a good wrapping up point for today's episode. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, and the bell icon, and the like button. Hit all the buttons. Just, just find buttons and press them. They're really important. Buttons are amazing. See you next time.